What's going on guys? Big Tune is here, by himself. Uh, I haven't done something like this in a while, but I feel like this is needed. And as everybody knows, I am an Oakland Raiders fan, repping the Oak Town hat right there. And I hope that everyone will appreciate my opinion on the situation between uh, Khalil Mack and the Raiders organization. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to say um, thank you very much for all the views, as well as the likes, as well as the subscriptions. And you know what? You guys are very helpful, and I appreciate every single one of the people that comment, like the videos, watch the videos, and subscribe. Uh, very humbling experience. I didn't even think I'd get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. But for me to be almost at 300, um, very heartfelt thank you. And... Uh, yeah, I just there's nothing more I can say except thank you. Um, and help us out by uh, continuing to like, continuing to view, and continuing to subscribe to our channel. Uh, also comment below on stuff that we missed as well as stuff, your opinion. Uh, we are all human. Unfortunately, I do not have the funds to do this full time or else this channel will probably be a lot better when it comes to graphics as well as you know, intros to shows, stuff like that. But uh, just like all you guys out there, most of you have full-time jobs, understand what it's like. And I appreciate uh, you guys sticking with me through the learning process. And I continue to say, watch the videos, you'll enjoy them, subscribe to the channel. We'll get videos out as much as we can, almost four times a week. And uh, like I said, much appreciated by myself, uh, Bradder, and Corey. Um, so... Let's talk about this. Let's really, really dive into this here. Not, not going to be a long video here, but we've got to talk about this. I mean, Khalil Mack is arguably a top 10 defensive player in the NFL, as well as probably a top 5 pass rusher. I think him and Von Miller, as, uh, as well as J.J. Watt, Chandler Jones, are all very, very good players. But, you know, like I said, Mack is in that conversation. He knows how good he is, how good he is. He knows how good and how much money he deserves. He's still on his rookie contract, and yes, Derek Carr did get an extension. Khalil Mack deserves an extension. Unfortunately, the worst thing that Khalil Mack could do is hold out the first year of a new coaching regime. As much as John Gruden is bringing the Raiders back to, you know, the old style. To be honest with you, ever since John Gruden left, the old style wasn't working. And, you know, since the drafting of Mack and Carr in the same draft year, the team has tried to get a little bit younger. And ever since Gruden's been hired, they've kind of gotten a little bit older. They're bringing in guys that they usually would when it was under the Al Davis regime. I don't think that Jack Del Rio would have been doing this, but uh, the Oakland Raiders are moving cities. They need some publicity. They need some flair going into, uh, you know, into Las Vegas, and John Gruden is that. Um, you know, last year for the Raiders, it was Marshawn Lynch. This year, it's John Gruden. Uh, but... They're forgetting about the team, the players that got them to this point. Uh, Derek Carr is a staple of this team, and he was paid to be a staple and a leader for this team. Now, Cleo Mack deserves the same. But you can't hold out in the first year of your new coach's tenure. John Gruden, unfortunately, is not going anywhere. Even though the team has gotten older, he is not going anywhere. There's no way the Raiders are going to want to pay him uh, for not coaching on a $100 million contract. And Cleo Mack needs to understand that. And Cleo Mack needs to come back to camp because that's how he will earn his extension. I don't think the Raiders are going to trade Cleo Mack. They shouldn't. If they do, I would highly question the front office as well as John Gruden because, you know, as much as the coaches are the like the, the absolute leader of the team, the general manager is the person that gets the team together for the coach. 
So you mean to tell me that Mark Davis, worst haircut in the world, and Reggie McKenzie really want to trade Khalil Mack? I just don't see that happening. I really don't. I get it. A lot of guys are trying to pursue Khalil Mack. Every team in the NFL should try to question, should call the Raiders to see if there is a chance that they are going to trade uh, Khalil Mack. And hopefully every single call is a no because there is no reason for them to trade Khalil Mack. He deserves the extension. He has done nothing but play well for the Raiders. Even when the team had gone, I mean, it was in like a two-season span, but they went like 0 oh and I think it was either 0-15 oh or 0-20. Oh it was a lot of games. And, you know, their first win, I loved it because Derek Carr as well as Khalil Mack were so happy and so excited for the team. Uh, that playoff year was fantastic to watch Khalil Mack play football. Some of the stuff he did was just so, so, so surreal. It was like he was a freak. He is a freak. Um, you know, but also, as much as I'm praising Cleo Mack for the way he has played for the Raiders, I also want to question him and say, you know, I get it. I understand that you want to get a raise. You're going to get the raise. Your raise does not come in until after next year. You're still going to have to play out your rookie contract. If you want to test free agency, by all means, do it. But he, Cleo Mack seems like a guy that wants to stay with the Raiders. He's upset, but he also has to realize that, you know, there's more than just him in this situation. And for him not being there is actually hurting the Raiders more than helping it. And I hope he realizes that because he is going to be behind the eight ball. He has not talked to his defensive coordinator. I heard that he might have talked to John Gruden, but probably not as much as people think. Um, and, you know, you don't know who to blame here. You don't know because... On one side, you could say, well, John Gruden's being stubborn, so is Reggie McKenzie and Mark Davis. And on the other end, you could say Khalil Mack is being selfish, and he'll get his due, he'll get paid, everything will be fine. You don't know who to side with here, folks. You don't know who to side with because each side has a good argument. And... I don't know who to side with. I don't know who is going to win this situation. I hope it's the Raiders in the sense that Khalil Mack comes back, plays out his rest of his contract, maybe even halfway through the season he gets his extension. If Odell Beckham can get $19 million a year, Khalil Mack should get the same, even maybe even more. And... People can be upset at Mac, and in a way, I am upset at Mac because at the end of the day, you are being paid to play a game. Now, you are being paid to play a game, but if you're very good at that game, you deserve a raise. And he does. But I think that at this point, Mac is starting to look more like a villain than a, uh, you know, someone to feel bad for. And I think it's time for Mac, as well as the Raiders front office, as well as John Gruden, uh, bring him back, bring the team back together, and no more of this bad talk about each other. More or less on the Raiders side, John Gruden has said a few things that I'm not happy about. Cleo Mack has been pretty quiet, which is normal uh, in these kind of situations. But um, you've got to really, really, if you're Cleo Mack as well as the Raiders, you really have to sit down and think, do I really want to make this decision? Because this may affect Cleo Mack in the long run. Only because if the Raiders are going to trade him, which like I said, I hope they don't, but if they are, I would think that the team that trades for him is going to be worried about the same thing. So why would you extend a guy that's clearly going to hold out? Because think about it. If he has two more great years, uh, he might want to raise again. Uh, he should be one of the highest paid defensive players because he's done nothing but good, act sometimes uh, the best at his position. But you've got to show some loyalty to a team. 
And as much as we know this is a business, general managers as well as owners always have that in the back of their mind. So we'll see what happens. But uh, if, if as on the Raiders' side, as the front office, they really need to get him back into camp. And on Khalil Mack's side, I get it. You deserve an extension, but come back to the Raiders. They will pay you. They've said they're going to pay you. I don't think they have any have any ideas on trading Mac or anything like that. So both guys need to kind of back up a little bit, understand the situation, and bring Mac back, and then extend him maybe halfway through the year, right after, uh, you know, right after the uh, season is over. It might be in the playoffs. Might be a regular season. You don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think both guys need to really back up, think about it, and uh, honestly make the right decision for the team because that's what's most important. The Oakland Raiders. That is what is most important. The Oakland Raiders are the most important thing in this situation. I get that Cleo Mack needs to be selfish. I get that you know the Raiders are standing their ground, but it's not going to help the team, and that's what the Raiders need is help because their defensive line isn't looking good without Cleo Mack. So. All right, guys, that's it. 11-minute eh, video. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can ramble. Uh, but like I said in the beginning, thank you very much for all the views, as well as the likes, as well as the subscriptions, as well as the comments. It's just great. Uh, continue doing that for us. It would help us out a lot, uh, you know, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, as well as commenting below on, you know, your, you know, your opinion. You know, I get it that some people are trolls and they try to make fun of us but you gotta understand something guys we're doing this for fun hopefully it turns into something big but i'll tell you what i'm having loads and loads of fun and i cannot wait for this week's show where we're gonna have a fan two fantasy shows as well as the double down degenerates with our first parlays of the season in college football so like i said before like subscribe comment check us out on instagram bigger and bradder sports check us out on twitter at big tuna bbs at Defense 12 Brad and at Scooney with two E's on the end of it. All right, guys, have a good night.